pronouns and antecedents. Pronouns. Pronouns are words that take the place of nouns. Here's an example of a sentence using pronouns. Gorlock forgot his club in his other loincloth, so he had to make a new one. He and his are pronouns. What do he and his refer to in the above sentence? That's right, Gorlock. He and his are taking the place of Gorlock's name in this sentence. So why do we use pronouns? Well, here's an example sentence that may help you better answer that question. Brother Kung fed some of Brother Kung's rice to the birds while Brother Kung walked to Brother Kung's temple. This sentence is a bit clunky. What's it missing? Pronouns. Here is the same sentence using pronouns. Brother Kung fed some of his rice to the birds while he walked to his temple. A bit smoother, right? So if pronouns are words that take the place of nouns in sentences, what are antecedents? Antecedents are the nouns to which pronouns refer. In other words, antecedents are the nouns that the pronouns are replacing. Here's an example of a sentence that uses an antecedent. Mr. Tickles normally did not eat fish without organic soy sauce, but he decided to make an exception. To which noun does the word he refer? Mr. Tickles. Mr. Tickles is the antecedent of he. He is taking the place of the noun Mr. Tickles in this sentence. Pronouns are great, they save us a lot of time, they make language more efficient, but there is a pitfall when you are using pronouns, and that is, you shouldn't use vague pronouns. A vague pronoun is when the antecedent of the pronoun is unclear. Here's an example of a sentence with a vague pronoun. Brian got mad when his dog ran through the mud because he was wearing his best suit. The pronoun he in this sentence could refer to Brian, or it could refer to his dog. It is unclear. We would need to rearrange the sentence to make it clear for readers and listeners. Here are some more examples of pronouns and antecedents. The students saw the long lunch line and began worrying that they wouldn't have time to eat. What is the pronoun in the above sentence? Also, what is the antecedent of that pronoun? Well, the pronoun is they, and the antecedent to which it is referring is students. They is taking the place of the noun students in this sentence. Here is another example of a sentence with a pronoun and an antecedent. Oh my god, General Quag looks like 10,000 years younger with his spots polished. What is the pronoun in this sentence? And what is the antecedent? The pronoun is his, and it's referring to General Cragg. General Cragg is the antecedent of the pronoun his. Here's one more example of a sentence with pronouns and antecedents. White Lotus was unfamiliar with the bamboo snorkel and nearly drowned while learning how to use it. What is the pronoun in this sentence, and what is its antecedent? The pronoun is it, and the antecedent to which it is referring is bamboo snorkel. In review, pronouns take the place of nouns. They make our sentences less clunky. They make language quicker and more efficient. Antecedents are the nouns to which pronouns refer. When we are using pronouns, we have to make sure that our antecedents are clear. Otherwise, we may end up with vague pronouns that create a barrier to meaning and can create sentences that are as humorous as they are confusing.